How do you apply adjustments to only one layer in your Photoshop document? So I've got two lovely pictures of me out here, and they're on two separate layers. So we've got one on the right, and we've got one on the left. Now, if I were to want to turn one of these black and white, but not turn both of them black and white, how do I do that? I'm going to add a quick adjustment layer, and these adjustment layers actually look different than they used to. There's a black and white adjustment layer, so we can add that in here. Now we have this black and white adjustment layer, and basically everything below this gets affected by this layer. If I were to click and drag it underneath, it wouldn't affect anything, right? Because it's underneath what's on top of it. But if you put this guy on top, then everything turns black and white. Now I could drag this below one of them and turn it black and white and the other not, right? Because it's above it. That's not the best way to do this. You should decide what you want affected by this layer and you're going to do something called create a clipping mask. To do that, we're going to hold Option if you're on Mac, and that's going to be Alt on PC. Once we're holding that, we're going to hover between the black and white layer and the layer below it, and you'll see this little square with an arrow down. Once we click that, you'll actually see this apply to only this layer, and you can see that indicated with this arrow right here. We created a clipping mask. This clipping uh, layer is basically clipped to whatever's below it. So it only applies to whatever is directly below it. Now that could be a group of layers or that could be just an individual layer right here. So you can do this with multiple. So let's say I go to adjustments and I also want to add a contrast layer and I want to crank up the contrast. Instead of having it apply to all of these, I can do the same thing. Hold option or alt and click. And now this or these two adjustment layers are only applied to this guy right here. I could do the same thing by grabbing these guys and holding Option or Alt and duplicating them down. So I'm just clicking and dragging on both those to right above this guy. And let's say I want the contrast, but I don't want the black and white. I could delete the black and white and then just hold Option or Alt and attach this contrast to this one over here. So now I have a colored with the contrast cranked up and then a version that's just black and white. So you can see how you can start to develop. And this is what a lot of my Photoshop documents look like. I'm going to increase the layers panel a little bit. But like I will see a lot of these adjustment layers that are just applied to layers below it. Now what I like to do is if this gets a little bit messy, you can hold shift and click to select from here to here. And then we can create a group out of these. So now we have a layer group. And I could say, right photo, you know, within the context of this document. This is the right photo. I could hide it. Okay, yep. I included the proper things inside that folder. I can drop the folder down and see all the adjustments in here. But I can also minimize it so that all those stacked adjustment layers don't have to just be existing at all times in my document. You know, and I could do the same thing here. The shortcut key for grouping is actually... Command or Control G, and it'll just group everything you have selected. And this can be the left photo. So you see some of my documents get cleaned up like this a little bit, um, where you can just drop down the photos and everything that exists. Like if I put a different shirt on him and there's like a shirt layer and all this other stuff, or like um, if we did a hue and adjustment layer to really change the colors, all of that clipped down to that main photo, I can just hide in those groups. But you can also, let's just look at one more thing. You can also apply adjustments to groups. So if I applied this curves, you can see I can clip it to this guy holding Option or Alt once again. And then the curves adjustment will only apply to a specific set of layers inside of a group, just like that. So that's how you can clip and apply adjustments to only one layer here in Photoshop.